flows head and heart master is symbolic of the unknown and unknowable he touches without touching he is the untouched touch of the unknown he is manifestation of that which is unmanifest and shall forever remain unmanifest he is the vision of that which remains unseen drashya hai adrashya ke liye is known of the unknowable someone ask a question we all know what head is but what is actually meant by heart is it consciousness the feeling the heart chakra or something else there are many questions in one question i will take only this much this one first is it consciousness the feeling the heart chakra or something else consciousness the feeling the heart chakra they are not separate but different expressions of the same thing there are two faculties just as you know computer computer has a hardware and a software both hardware and software have to work in harmony with one another and for you to be efficient head is that hardware it provides the body it provides all that is essential in the hardware without if you do not have a head mechanism i am talking about brain not the mind then you cannot articulate your words your sentences your messages and your message will not be intelligible to people if i am confused in my expression there is no clarity then you will not be able to understand what the software brings out the consciousness software is the consciousness the inner realm of the computer the bio computer that you are i have heard mulla nasruddin became enlightened people will come to him and they will ask questions mulla nasruddin will close his eyes and start speaking to the people in response to their questions one person came he said what do you do with your how do you connect or give the answer to the questions you close your eyes for a little while then you open your eyes words begin to flow he said this is a secret the secret is that you see that i have a long hair these hair works as an antenna they connect me to the unknown realm and the moment this is my wifi and through this wifi i connect to the divine google and i get the answer from there he said that is easy the so your hair is the wifi he said yes and when 
I connect this is connect this connects me to the divine guru in order to understand certain things like how to operate the computer you may have a computer or laptop in your house but if it is there is no electricity it is ineffective so first factor is necessary is electricity second the wi-fi you may have wi-fi may not have wi-fi but you have laptop it is of no use it is like dead you have the wi-fi right you have the electric current you have the laptop but you are not versatile to utilize use that program when you switch from the one system to another from the switch over to the macbook or the ios system from the other which is used by windows you have a different mechanism so when you have all these things the laptop the electricity the wi-fi connection and you know how to operate then you can access the Google. Am I right? Is it easy to understand? In the same way, your life force, your life breath is the electric connection. If the life force, the pranavayu, Alan Vaite is not there, that means there is no electricity to operate the system. Second is the Wi-Fi. What is the Wi-Fi in the biocomputer, the human biocomputer? It is your consciousness. It is your consciousness. Wi-Fi nobody has seen. But it is unseen and unknowable, unseen unheard yet still it operates it is the soul of the laptop and the operator who connects all these things so if you look at it heart there is a biological heart when the blood pumps through the arteries and veins the, it circulates the entire body. This is the physical heart. Then there is a sacred heart as Christians call it or Hindus call it Hriday or Hriday Chakra or Hrit Padma 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 means Lotus Hrit Padma Kamal Lotus or Kal. then it becomes the modem in your system that connects you to the consciousness but how does this modem works or consciousness works consciousness is unseen it happens that there is a sound all sounds are created by friction. You clap your hand. When the two hands clap or strike against one another, a sound is created that is known as the sound of clapping. When water falls on a stone, there is a sound created. That is the sound of the water falling and we call it waterfall. It becomes a beautiful scene, a place of joy. So this is also a sound. You flick your finger, a sound is created. But there is a sound. This is the sound you chant a mantra, you do a zikr, 
and with that a sound is created that is the sound created sound but the existence is uncreated sound nobody is creating yet still it is there nobody is creating yet still it is there this is known as anahat ahat means hurt clapping this is ahat and when there is no clapping that's why zen monks says master says clapping of the one hand the sound of the clapping of one hand that is anahat an ahat nobody is creating and yet it is still there nana calls this as a konkar this is the cause of the existence this anahat sound is the cause of the entire existence nobody is creating yet still it is there when there is silence within the mind of its all disturbances egocentric identities a storehouse of the memory all become ineffective then you are able to hear these sounds but the constant dialogue is going on while i am speaking that i agree with this this sounds good so constant dialogue is going on you cannot hear the unheard you cannot touch that which cannot be touched that which cannot be touched and that which cannot be seen so this opening of the blossoming of the lotus is known as the hriday chakra chakra means the wheel the energy flows in a cycle and so when it continues to flow it has to go beyond one level to reach to the other so it keeps on moving from one center to the end other when it is blossomed its beauty and fragrance begin to spread it is known as hriday kamal the heart lotus is open when you are not chanting any word or zikr but you are hearing it then it is called kalp zakir hona as sufis call it the sound that was going on al hilaj mansur was hearing deep within milarepa was hearing this sound ever since he became enlightened and when he was at the last moment disciples put their ears to whichever part of the body they were hearing the unheard sound the kind of a vibration so it is the consciousness which is the cause of the entire existence but yet still it remains unmanifest but it manifests through the heart center so the heart center this is what it is called sacred heart the mind moves in a horizontal line from left to right along the x axis along the y axis which is vertical which is the heart and where these two merge and meet one another that is known as sacred heart or the hrit pradm patm means the heart chakra or the sacred heart of jesus and when this happens a different kind of energy field you are into then your words become solace to the others your presence becomes illumination for the others your words become the inspiration for anyone and then you a new life begins enough for now but this question and the related questions will continue in subsequent sessions enough for now